All right, well, it's a good evening for me. Well, today's going to be a quick review of one of my favorite knives. It's definitely not a survival knife, but what it is is a fantastic um, sportsman blade, whether you're fishing, hunting, um, you need to make some fuzz sticks in the, in the wilds. It is not a knife that's going to take a whole lot of abuse, but it is a knife that's going to have probably one of the sharpest edges or blades that you can get for $55. And not only that, you're going to get a blade that costs $55 and it's not a mini knife. What do I mean by a mini knife? Like uh, Rat Cutlery makes a lot of mini knives. Bark River makes a lot of mini knives. And mini knives are like those the Necker knives for $55, $50. Small blades of two, two and a half inches at the largest, sometimes under two inches, that are in the $50 range. Now this knife is a full size blade. And I have medium sized hands. So you're looking at a blade of four, about four inches. And a nice size handle. Very nice size handle. Now it's a wood handle. So, and it's pinned. So it does have a full tang, but not a solid full tang. It gets comes to you packaged in the box that you see right here in front of you. And uh, it's a nice presentation. It tells you a little bit about the type of blade that you have and the laminated steel. Um, I could read off some of that to you guys. It's uh, <clears throat> Most of our knives have a triple laminated stainless steel blade. The core is made of high alloy steel which gives it a lasting razor sharp edge. The core is protected by two layers of tough stainless steel, which reduces rust and breakage. So it's basically the triple laminated stainless steel knives made by no other heli. And this is the Egen, E-G-G-E-N. This is that particular model. Now, I did have a problem with my handle splitting on this one. And I had to do a repair. Um, I don't trust this repair. I'm scared that it might pop off again and I could end up slicing my finger off. So this knife has been pretty much retired for any type of use. I might wrap it maybe with some uh, rubber or something, but I haven't decided what I'm what I'm quite going to do. Um, the thumb notch that you see right here is something I added, and it just gives you more uh, leverage and power when it comes to uh, um, utilizing your blade. Makes fantastic fuzz sticks, absolutely razor sharp. The sheath that it comes with is very supple leather, very nice leather. Um, got some nice uh, design on there, nice design. And it hangs very nicely off the bottom of your belt. So you, it's not riding very high. So as you can see when you place it into your sheath, it's very secure in there, very secure, and the the butt of the knife is right at the edge right here. So you don't have very much sticking up into you. It's a very free-flowing free design, which allows you to run through the bush or whatever. It won't get snagged on anything. It's very nice. It's very secure, uh, very secure. I like the sheath. I think it's fantastic. Fantastic. Very nice leather. Um, I like it. And for 55 bucks, you cannot beat this. This is... 
I would say much of much better quality of let's say uh, some of the buck knives that are coming out um, or whatnot. They they really a lot of these knives they'll advertise the knife and then you'll get this absolute crappy sheath. Um, and this is a nice sheath. I mean, it has the smell of leather, and it's built nice. It's got some. Uh, it's got a blade guard in there that protects your uh, your uh, sheath from your blade when it goes in. It's very easy to resharpen this knife too. I, I was pretty intimidated when I first got it, and uh, it's actually very easy to resharpen. Look at that edge. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got some paper here. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's very sharp. It's been used very hard too, so you have to... See if I can get a nice thin one there. But it's uh, very sharp. I haven't resharpened it since I went out there and carved some sticks the other day ago. It's got a nice feel though. Highly recommend this knife for light use. You won't be batoning with this knife. If you baton with it, you will break it. I broke it just by carving. Now granted, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big guy, so I do exert a lot of force on this handle when I am uh, carving. I'll choke up on it also and I can make my fuzz sticks or survival campfire. Um, it's a very nice blade. So, what kind of applications would I use this for? I would go out on a camping trip with it. I would take it to the lake, especially the lake. Fantastic for fish cleaning, cutting up bait, um, whatever you need. Uh, fantastic knife in general. 55 bucks, you don't have to really worry about it that much. Now, if you're looking for survival blade, you need to go a different route. Like my Bark River, Bravo 1, fantastic survival blade. These are the type of knives that I prefer. I like a more of a utility blade that can take some punishment. But for those of you that don't punish your knives, that just want to make some nice clean cuts, this is the knife to do it with. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the laminated steel on this knife um, when you hold it up close. It is just hair popping sharp though. You can also buy these uh, knife blanks and put your own handle on here. And that's my review of the Heli Egen. Highly recommend it. Um, they also stand by their uh, warranty also. When this one broke I did uh, write the company and they did respond back. I still haven't received my knife from them but uh, they're, I, got, I was under the impression that they are going to be sending that new knife to me. The new knife I will use until it breaks um, but if a finger guard breaks um, it kind of makes me a little bit worried to be using that this knife too hard. So no stabbing motions with this knife. I just wouldn't even trust it. They do have plastic handled models that I would trust a lot more. And like their, uh, their military uses the uh, plastic handled models. I'd trust those a lot more than I would wood. So that would be my recommendation is to go, go and get one of their, what they're famous for is their Scanny grind blanks. So look for a durable handle and you're in business. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your evening.